Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at how to protect yourself against nuclear radiation. So let's get started. It says here that we rely on shielding, distance and time to protect us from biological harm. And we're going to look at how we can use each of these three things to protect ourselves. So shielding first of all. Shielding involves putting a material between us and the radioactive source to absorb or stop radiation that would otherwise reach us. Usually the thicker the material, the more radiation will be absorbed. And we already know that lead is a good absorber of gamma rays, so it will also absorb alpha and beta particles as well. For this reason, lead containers are used to store radioactive sources in schools and elsewhere. People that work with radiation might use things like lead aprons as well to keep healthy tissue healthy. And so when thinking about shielding, we want to use thick materials and lead if possible. Looking at distance now, it's probably just common sense, but this involves staying as far away from the radioactive source as we can. For those working with radioactive sources, however, gloves should be used to avoid contact with skin, and tongs should be used to keep the source at a reasonable distance. So gloves is still keeping things at a distance from your skin. The window, we also say that the window of the radioactive source should always be pointed away from people, because that is where the alpha particles, beta particles, or gamma rays are going to be emitted from. So if you point it away from people, then you're minimizing the risk of being exposed to that radiation. And lastly, we have time. Again, probably just common sense, but when we have to be exposed to radioactive sources, such as if you're a radiation worker, then we should make sure that we do so for the least possible length of time. Being exposed to these sources at odd times, such as during physics lessons, will not cause you sufficient harm, but if you were working with radioactive sources on a daily basis, for example radiation workers in hospitals, then you would want to monitor your radiation exposure long term, such as by using a film badge. So just to summarise our three methods of protection, Shielding is putting a material between the body and a radioactive source. For example, lead is effective at shielding us from radiation since it absorbs alpha, beta and most gamma radiation. Distance, staying as far away from the radioactive source as possible. If radioactive sources must be handled, equipment such as gloves and tongs should be used. And lastly, time. Time exposed to a radioactive source should be minimised as much as possible. If working with radioactive sources on a daily basis, exposure should be monitored. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.